Welcome back to Mammy's Table. Today we are going to play with silicone molds. Before you use your molds, make sure you wash them and make sure you dry them. Get every piece of water out because chocolate and water does not mix. So we're gonna make some dome desserts here. So let's get started. So to start with, we're gonna put a little design in the bottom of my mold before I pour the, pour the entire chocolate in there. Just a little bit of any old thing we're gonna do. I don't know what the first one was. I don't know. Just anything. Anything you would like to put. Anything you would like to put in your mold. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator or the freezer, whatever you choose. And we're gonna let this harden up. And then we're gonna do our next step. Okay, I have my white chocolate melted. I use a double broiler and I used uh, Merkin's chocolate. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour these in here. Now let it cool off a bit. I didn't, I'm not using it like really, really hot. Just letting it cool off a bit. Okay. Just going to take a spoon. Move that around a little bit. These are really easy to do. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and let this uh, harden, and I'm gonna put another coat on it. We're gonna do another coat. Yes, we are. We wanna make sure we get the top of these edges, the edges done, just so they don't, they don't break as easy. So I'm going to turn these upside down for a couple of seconds, then I'm going to put them in the freezer. Turn them upside down helps the chocolate on the edges to cover the edges really well. So we're going to turn it upside down. Whatever wants to drain out, drain out. And we're going to put it in refrigerator and put another coating on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just going to add a little bit more in. Just a little bit more. We're going to go up our sides. to make sure our sides won't okay, cave in. Let me take them out. You can use a spoon. This is easier for me. It doesn't have to be all neat up in here because nobody's gonna see this part anyway. This is gonna be the inside. to make sure our edges are strong. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge and we're gonna finish them off almost. Okay, we'll put these back. All right. Okay, now that's all done. It's gonna take a little bit of um, cream cheese filling. Fill up each cavity a little. We 
before you, you know, you can make a mousse if you like. But this was easy. Oh, air. Okay. That's what happens when you're not always prepared. Okay. I'm going to take a piece of cake. You can use any type of cake you want, any type of filling you want, any type of coating you want, anything you want, really. We're playing with food today. We're playing with silicone molds today. Okay. And I have strawberry rounds that I did cut up this strawberry cake you can make any type of cake your heart desires I'm going to add them in like so Really, 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 really easy to do. Okay. Get those in there. I'm going to take some more chocolate. I still have some chocolate pieces in my chocolate. It's okay. Mm -hmm, yummy. Just make a big mess. A whole piece of chocolate fell on there. And Mammy is always making a mess, isn't she? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, this piece of chocolate didn't melt all the way. I'm gonna take that off. Okay. I wanna get chocolate all in nooks and crannies. And you need to move fast, quicker than I am, because your chocolate will go ahead on and seize up on you. Oh, Nammy, how could you? How could you, Nammy? How could you? Throw out the freezer. This is Nammy's first time doing this, as a matter of fact. Oh, they're cute. I think it's as cute as they can be. I'll take the excess chocolate off. I'm gonna be careful. I wanna be very, 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 B-E-R-R-Y, careful, very, 
That's what the babies used to say when they couldn't get the V sound. Berry. I think they come out nice. Let me get this one over here. Careful not to break it. Careful not to break it. Oh, they came out pretty cool. Just gotta get these extra pieces of chocolate off. No problem with that. Let me clean them up some. But didn't they come out gorgeous? I think so. We'll get all that extra off. And that's because my chocolate got cold since I put it on top of frozen stuff. This got cold as well. So I'm going to take the edges off. And we're going to come back with them all dressed and pretty. This is my first time doing it, so I figured I'll do it with you guys. I've done some things, but I never did I never did this recipe before. So I saw some pictures, but I did not follow the directions on the pictures because I figured I can make it the way I want to make it. All I need is a picture or something. Just a picture, okay? You're gonna finish cleaning these bad boys off and get back to you. I decided to take the edges off this way. Seems as good as long as any. So that's what I just decided to do. I'm gonna clean the edges off like peel the potato. And I'm going to finish them up. But I just want to show you how I was cleaning my edges off. I guess you might can use a warm, you might can. I guess you could use a warm knife or, I wouldn't use a warm knife for this. If I'm holding it this way, because the chocolate is soft. It hardened, but it's not a bark. It's not a bark. It's a natural chocolate, Merkins. I like Merkin's best. It, it just tastes better. It really does. It tastes better. It melts better. I prefer it. Get a quick video on our dome dessert. They are so cute. They are so cute. I'm going to cut into one. slice into one. I should have did it on camera, but I did not. And let me tell you, it's really good. It's really good. Strawberry cream cheese filling. Strawberry cake. And our chocolate dough. I think it's great. I think it came out great. Tastes great. Make it some. This is what's on Nanny's table. Until we meet again. What's on your table?